Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sam. I'm a savvy bargain hunter shopper who loves to do hauls for you guys. Um, a bit quiet on the hauls at the moment, just because like things have just, just been crazy. Um, I'm back to work from my surgery. I think I mentioned it in my last video, but I'm st still having issues. Um, I'll go into that sort of after this haul. I'll do it on this video, but after the haul, so you guys can, if you just want to watch the haul and you're not bothered about an update or anything from me, then that's fine. Um, but this is sort of like a mixture of a haul. This is sort of um, things that I've been loving at the moment and some Christmas gift ideas. The people, um, friends and family who do watch this aren't included in this video, so don't think that somebody I know who I've got a gift for here is going to see this because they don't watch my channel, so that's fine. Um, if you hear any noise, it's because the window's open and there was some neighbours or something doing something a minute ago, so just try and ignore that if you can. But yeah, this is just um, a little bit of a mixture. Um, a lot of you have asked about a Halloween like seasonal um, autumnal you want to see what I've done like decor wise I'm just waiting for my tv I've ordered my tv it's coming with John Lewis next week um so I will probably I hate to say it I will probably do something um a little sort of real or something with that um probably the end of October I know Halloween is the 31st but um, my TV's not going to be up and stuff on the wall properly until then. I might do a little sneak peek before, but we'll see. If you follow me on my Instagram, um, if you don't, do check it out. I'll put my Instagram name here. Um, I have put a few little pictures on there of, um, little displays that I've done. Um, so what else is there to say? I think that's it. So I'll show you what I've got. Like I say, this is a few gifts and things as well. So, um, my best friend has a little girl and she loves sort of like creative play and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be really good. I got her the Asda, this is the home delivery set. So she'll have, um, like a high vis jacket with a little name badge on it. And some little foods. I'll show you the back of it. So she has the little scanner. So she can pretend she's scanning the, the food. There's some little food there. And she's got a little crate. I thought that was so, so cute. Um, it was under a tenner. I can't remember exactly how much it was. But it was really good price. Um, and I, I can't remember if she's two or three. But it's perfect for her. So I got her that. I did also get her this. This is a metal shopping trolley. I thought this was so cool. I have just checked online. These aren't back in stock at the moment. Um, I suspect they will be. But again, this one was maybe £10. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I thought that was really, really cute as well. Um, sort of going with her creative play. She has a little kitchen and stuff. And yeah, I just thought that would be really, really cute. And as well as that, I did also grab her... Some more little bits of food and stuff. It's an Asda shopping basket. So cute. Um, it's ages three plus. It says 24 accessories. So she's got all like her little boxes of pasta and things like that. And they're really, really cute. So I thought that was a nice sort of bundle for her. So I got her those. Um, I'll do sort of like the Christmassy gifts first. Then I'll go into bits that I've just been absolutely loving myself. So I also got her this cute little wooden cake stand she has a little kitchen um i thought this was really cute i will just say actually the works have some really really good stuff this is where i got this from um there's some more bits i'll show you in a minute that i got from the works i also got my baby nephew who's he was born in march so march april may june july august September, october november so. so he'll only be nine months old um i did get him some baby toy things in there and yeah, the prices are really, really good. I will just say though, if you're going into store to buy um, toy bits, the prices online do check first because some of the stuff was cheaper online. So when you get to the till in store, I got caught out the other day. Well, I didn't get caught out. I actually made a point to say that something was £5 cheaper online and they honoured it. Um, they just don't have enough staff in stores to keep changing the prices. So they leave them at the full price, which I think is a bit... But nevertheless, um, do double check online before you go into stores. And yeah, real, real good quality 
bargains for kids like I've bought quite a bit in there and when it got delivered I also ordered online and when it came on delivery it was all packaged really really well I'm very very impressed actually so I got this little cake stand for her as well um for my nephew I just got these little shape sorters so it's like a little bucket there and you've got all the little tiny shapes in there and he can put them through this was five pounds i think i paid three pounds for it online but i thought that was really really cute it's for 12 months and over so he'll sort of play um get into that when he's a couple of months older than that at christmas but yeah i thought that was really really cute again good little stocking fillers and stuff for them so i got him that and i did get him this little play discovery ball thing he loves noisy things so I got him this and the balls run through this little spiral here and he's got all these little bits he can play with he, he loves stuff like this he loves sensory things so I got him that as well this says it was six pound I think this was three pound online it might have gone back up now but do check out the works online you can also do click and collect as well but I thought that was really really good so I got him that as well um some other little bits i got for him i can't remember if i've shown this in another haul so i do apologize if i have i got him these books so these are little um books for far it's your first farm animals birds creepy crawlies jungle animals ocean animals pet safari and woodland animals they are just little oh, little cardboard books i thought that was so so cute um and I love the little box it's in, easy to wrap. I love things that are in boxes because it's just so much easier for me to wrap at Christmas. But yes, these are just like my first word book things, you know, with animals and stuff. Um, my brother and his partner live on a huge, huge, huge farm. They are sort of farmers. And yeah, and my little nephew will be a probably a little farmer so I thought this was really really cute all the little animal books um yeah so I got him that and I also got the oh that was from the works as well that was I want to say that was a fiver it was really really good and then I got him this um my first word so this is like numbers alphabet stuff like that I know he's not even 12 months old yet but this is stuff that he can enjoy and they're having a house built as well um so once he's got his own, well, he's got his own room now, but once they they move into their bigger house, they'll have loads of room and they'll have like a little um, bit for all his books and stuff. So yeah, I think Harry will absolutely love this. This was seven pounds. They do like a two for 12. But again, I think I paid less than seven. I think this was a fiver as well. Um, I think they had like an extra whatever off. But yeah, I thought this is really, really cute. Again, in a lovely little box, I can wrap that easy peasy. Um, then I just got this. Now, this is um, Emma Bridgewater. It's melamine. I think that's how you call it. Shoot me if I'm wrong. This is like plasticky. Um, my brother also has a um, digger, lorry sort of um, how can I explain it? Like he repairs diggers, lorries and stuff. That's his company. And my little nephew loves sitting in the digger and stuff. And yes, I know he's only nine months old, but I thought this would be a really cute thing for him for when he's a little bit older. But I just had to get it because they don't make this anymore. Um, it's a little three piece set and it says tractors, lorries, diggers, trucks and cars on. And it's just a little plastic set. So when he gets a little bit older, I thought that'd be really, really cute. And they can keep that and they can display it if they wanted to. So yeah, it's got like Land Rovers on because my brother's got Land Rovers and tractors and diggers and all sorts. So I've got a little cup, a bowl and that. And I thought that was really, really cute. And when he sort of goes on to more solids, um, they can use the bowl and the plate and stuff. But yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. I got this on Vinted actually. This um, was new. It's never been used. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come with a box, but that's fine. But I think I only paid £8 for this, which is really, really good. So... Another thing to add for my little nephew, I have also got him a ball pit, but the ball pit, that's been a nightmare. I ordered it from Smith's. It came, the every driver has obviously shoved a parcel into the box. So the box had a split in it and then it went and split through the ball pit and I was absolutely fuming. So I've had to send that back. It's been a nightmare. It's not in stock and they've discontinued it, but I will get him another ball pit. It's been an absolute bloody nightmare. 
Um, so that's my little nephew sort of down. Um, oh, where do I go now? So this, oh, I've got a couple of more Christmassy bits here. So a good sort of gift if you're looking for something nice. I mean, these aren't cheap. Um, but I have bought every family member one of these for their birthday or for Christmas or whatever. My mum, my dad, my sister, my niece. Um, yeah, these are really, really good. So I will show you both of them. I've now got my brother and his partner one. Um, I think they'll love these. I just think these are lovely, lovely gifts. Like all the girls in the office have got one now. Um, so these are personalised Emma Bridgewater mugs. Like I said, they're not cheap, but if you're looking for a lovely um, sentimental gift, these start off, I think, £26 and then it's a pound per letter. Like I say, it's very expensive, um, but I think the, it's just a personal touch. It's very thoughtful. My brother's girlfriend owns a dog business um, where dogs can stay on holiday and stuff with her. And I thought this was so appropriate and they have four dogs. So, yes, I thought this was so, so cute. I had her name, Charlotte, put on it. Really, really nice. So I got her that as a lovely Christmas gift. And then I got my brother one. Um, let's have a look. I forgot what I had on my brother's now. Oh, yeah, I do remember. So this was perfect. So my brother's called Ashley, but we all call him Ash. So I got him this one with the Land Rovers. He actually had a Land Rover exactly the same as that. And tractors on. And this is just absolutely perfect. And if there's one with the doc uh, a doctor, a dog on the tractor, which is so, so cute. Um, like I say, they've got four dogs. So yeah, really, really nice. Lovely, lovely gifts for somebody. If you're looking to gift for somebody at work, we all club in and get each person one for Christmas or birth, not for Christmas, for birthday, sorry, things like that. So we've all got one in the office now, but they're just lovely. You can keep these and cherish these for years. You can display them really, really nice. They do also do a teapot in this, which I will probably get them when they move into their house build, but it's going to take quite a long time. So I'm hoping this pattern does stay in the collection online, but the patterns do change online. You do get the, um, like the original spots and things, the polka dot and things like that. And they do bring these special designs in that don't stay in the collection for like ages. So do check out. They also do cocoa, hot chocolate mugs, which are bigger. They are more expensive, but they're lovely as well. Really, really, really nice quality. Um, they take about two to three weeks to come. I'm a massive Emma Bridgewater advocate. I love, love her so much and the brand. The only thing I will say, the price increases are extortionate now compared to what they used to be. Um, but do check out, sometimes she does 20% off um, and things like that. So it is worth having a look when those discounts are on. I do um, sometimes get um, NHS discount and things like that. So if you are part of the NHS, if you've got a blue light card, you will also get 20% off. But yes, really nice gifts. They come gift box, tissued and everything. So I thought that was really, really sweet. Um, now, these are bits that I've been loving. I am loving so much. It's that time of year. The DW Home Candles from TK Maxx. I flipping love them so much. My store this year has been shocking for these candles. Um, I have been quite lucky and have been to different TK Maxx's. Um, that aren't so close to me and have picked up a few actually but I just I love them I love them better than Yankee Candle the throw the scent from them is amazing they are American company oh god this is apple honey butter this is just autumn in a jar they're two wicks you can get one wick you can get mini ones again they have gone up a bit they're still inexpensive this was 10 pounds thought that was really really good and this will last me quite a while I don't even have to light it for very long and the throw I get off this candle is just incredible. Um, I have got candy corn. I've got loads of them now, but um, yeah, I love these. Even if you don't like to light the candles, take the lid off and it fills the room with fragrance. They're so good. So I'm loving the apple honey butter at the moment. That's my second jar. Um, now, I also love these so much. You can buy these from Next. 
Um, we don't have a Bath and Body Works store local to us, but they are popping up sort of higher up the country in the UK. Um, they're an American brand, but like I say, Next stock these as well, which I got these um, off the website. They're foaming hand soaps. I think, I want to say they're £8 each, but then they do offers and stuff like that. So do check out Next as well. Good Christmas gifts. I got the foam in hand soap. So this is Lemon Kitchen. I don't know if you can see that very well. I actually got this for my mum because my mum loves lemon, verbena, stuff like that. So I've got her this one. And then I've got this one. This is Sweet Orange Blossom. And like I say, they're so lovely and foamy and the smell is just incredible. So I got those, which I'm loving at the moment. I've had a few different Bath and Body Works ones. Um, oh my God. In the past, and I just love them. Really, really worth the money. Uh, really worth the money. So I've got some of those that I've been loving at the moment. Um, really random things here. So I, I do apologise, but I've also got these. Now, my friend has just opened a little card and gift shop in my local town. And she had these for sale and oh God, I just love them. They are cute little Christmas decorations. Now I'm gonna gift these to my best friend's little girl. I just think they're so, so pretty. It's a little fairy, it's gray with some little foil stars. She's got some little wings, so, so cute. So I got her the gray one, I actually bought her three. So I got her the gray. I also got, I'll take them out of the packet so you can see them all. I got her the whitey cream colour. How adorable are these? So cute. So I got her those, as, uh, that one as well. And then I got her this one. I think this was the one I saw first and I was like, oh, I'm just going to get all three of these. And then I got this one, and this is like, that's a bit better though, you can see the colour a bit more. It's like a pinky, like a dusky pink. So cute. She'll love these. Really, really cute. They can put them on her Christmas tree. Yeah, really cute little Christmas decorations. I think these were like 3 99 each. But yeah, really, really cute. So, so sweet. So I got her those. Um, I'll send them to her. Um... Another item I have been absolutely loving. Now, this is part of my Halloween range that I got. I bought this. I was looking for this for months. Months and months and months. Could I find it? No. A couple of you have, um, who I follow on Facebook, who are friends on Facebook, have been trying to find this for me. Couldn't find it. I went into my store, which I will say has been absolutely shocking for Halloween stuff. They've had a bit, but it's just awful. Um, and I saw this on the bottom of the shelf, right at the back, just one on its own. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was really going to be really heavy, but it's actually not. Um, and it just says spooky. It's got the three ghosts on. It's a real good size. It's, they do a smaller size in this as well, but this is, I wanted the bigger size. And uh, this was only 14 99 I thought that was really good. So we'll go up close. I just love it. I absolutely love the ghost theme. I think because my lounge is grey and white and this is mostly white, it just goes really, really well. I've actually got it on my floating TV unit at the moment. But yeah, I love it. I'm so glad I found it. And for $14.99, that was a real, real good buy. So that's another piece I've been loving. Um, I'll go on to some more homeware bits and then some foodie bits that I've been loving. Um, I love these. I haven't used these yet, but I will just show them. These are the Stacey Solomon for Asda. She's got her own range. Um, baking dishes. I love these. They're plain white, but they also have this really nice, like, knobbly edging on it. I just love these. So this one was £8. I thought I could do, like... Some chicken in there, some vegetables, potatoes, things like that. And then I want to say this one was £5. This is the 20 centimetre roaster. Um, yeah, I just thought these were really, really nice. Really cute. Very plain. I love things that are plain now. I don't like... I do like fancy, you know, patterns and stuff. But when my kitchen does ever... When, whenever it does get done, um, I just want it all sort of plain. I love grey, so... Grey and white is my vibe. And um, yeah, I thought these were really nice. That one was a five, and like I say, the larger one's eight pound. Is it eight pound or ten pound? I can't remember, but so worth it. 
and yeah I thought these were really really pretty her bedding is lush in her range as well I can't get the double in the pumpkin anywhere I've been look, looking for ages she's got like a natural coloured um, bedding with I think it was like creamy coloured pumpkins on been after it in a double for ages and it's just always out of stock but yes I do love her range very much and I thought these would just be a great little thing for the kitchen so I got those um going on to some foods now ever since my surgery I've not been drinking hardly any tea um or anything any warm drinks really um I've been loving Ribena I, I don't know why I've always loved it but after my surgery, I just craved Ribena all the time. I like the the full sugar one. I do like the um, no sh no added sugar one. But yeah, oh my God, I just love it. The only thing I will say, it's normally quite expensive, especially the bigger bottles like this. But as to do these two for five, not as to Iceland, two for five. So I do normally get them in there or Tesco if they have them on offer. But yes, I just love the flavour of Ribena and I love cold drinks. So I got that. Um, that's probably like my 100th bottle since I've had my surgery from May. So yeah, I just, I love Ribena. Um, and these, I've been to M&S today with my sister and my niece. And I love the cotton candy grapes. I do love, they do tutti frutti and they do mango flavoured grapes as well. Oh my God, I love them all. I just, oh. Can't have too many because like fibre and stuff, it's just a nightmare for me at the moment. But I absolutely love these grapes so much. And whenever I go to um, m and I always have to grab them. So I've been loving those. And the last thing, I got this today. <sighs> Don't know what I'm going to be like trying this because it is tea. Um, but this is new. It's the Christmas Spiced Tea. I do normally like the Wittard's Christmas Tea. Um, I did last year. Um, I'm going to try these and see what they're like. I don't think I'm going to like them personally, but I really want to try them because it's um, black tea with spices and citrus. I do, I used to really like Earl Grey. Um, but since my surgery, I've just gone off tea completely. I really want to try these just because I've heard really good things about these tea bags. Um, and I will drink it black. I won't have milk. Um, so I thought I'd give them a go. I think they were £2 a box. These are from M&S and they're just called Christmas Tea, uh, Christmas Spice Tea. So I thought I would give them a go. But they have some lovely Christmassy foods in there. I did also buy some Christmas Merry Berry Jam. And it's got... Um, like blackberry, strawberry, raspberry and all that. And it really, really nice. I had that. That's really tasty. So yes, that is sort of everything on this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will go on now to sort of health issues at the moment. So um, if you want to, you know, leave now, that's absolutely fine. Thank you for watching if you do want to skip this part. But I've had quite a few of you asking how I'm getting on. With, you know, following my last update and it's just been a nightmare. I don't know if any of you guys can give me any tips about um, foods and things because I've tried gluten-free, dairy-free, lactose-free. It's just been a nightmare and I had to have um, an urgent ultrasound last week because, like, I'm still getting problems. Like, sounds really grim. But like anything I eat just goes straight through me. It's just so annoying. Anything too fibery, I can't have. And I know you've got to change your diet and things, but I'm trying and I'm, yeah, it's just, it's without getting emotional, it is taking over my life and it's really, really getting me down. I'll try not to cry because it's really at the moment getting to me and I've been back to the doctors and it's just, I'm not in the agony that I was in before I had my gallbladder out, but at the moment it is really getting to me, getting on top of me. The pain I get, I get like an ache. It's, I, I had seven incisions, the surgery didn't go very well. They still did keyhole, but seven attempts. And yeah, anything I eat, I just, it just goes straight through me. I don't, I don't have... Um, normal poo. I know it sounds really, really gross, but, you know, if any of you guys can give me anything or, 
you know, any good advice on anything about this, if you've been through it, it's, I think it's really good to talk about these things. Some people think it's a bit too much, but I personally think the more everybody talks about these, these things, the more we can feed off each other and give each other advice and help and things like that. But yeah, it's just, it's just really, really bad at the moment. Ever since my surgery, beginning of May, I have not had a normal poo. I've been back to my surgery, I had an urgent ultrasound, they couldn't find anything. I do have two internal hernias and I might have to be re-referred back to gastroenterology, I think that's how you say it, um, and go on medication that sorts out my bowels and things and it will be for life. But if any of you guys have anything you can, you know, tell me about what's helped you, if you've had a gallbladder removal, or I know a lot of people say, you know, you do have like the diarrhea. Some people can have it for years. Some people have it for a few months. It's just, I can't live like it. It's just so, it's such a big thing for me in my life. It's horrible. I know people are gonna think, oh, you're really dramatic. I'm really not. It, it's just awful. I can't, I can't stand it. I don't really like going out for food very much now just because I just worry. Um, yeah, so if any of you guys can, can give me any advice about the gallbladder or what you think's helped you, I will take any information from you guys. I'll read all the comments. I'm so grateful that you guys watch my channel. Um, but yeah, it's just been one big stress, hence why I've not done many videos because I, I haven't been out very much I'm obviously back to work which is just crazy crazily busy but yeah the whole me going out to the shops and things my life has just been really busy and a bit hectic but yes if you guys can give me any advice I'd be so grateful so yes thank you for watching this video I will put my Instagram link below. Do follow me on Instagram. I love you guys on Instagram. Um, I don't really do so much on Facebook anymore. I just, I love doing pictures, sending, uh, sending, showing pictures on my Instagram of purchases or things that I've been absolutely loving. So do check me out. I will put my Instagram name right here and I'll put it in the description box below, the link that you can tap and to follow. And what else have I got on there? Oh, I've got an eBay store where I sell handbags and stuff. So do check that out as well. I'll put my eBay shop link below. I only post in the UK um, and I've had loads of you actually buy from me. So thank you so much. I'm very, very grateful for that as well. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you for watching this and until next time, I'll see you soon.